sedan rust, but it underscores the extreme, often deadly dangers of synthetic marijuana, now plaguing several states. And since the drug targets mainly young people, police and the DEA want to sound the alarm that spice is an extremely potent drug that needs to be taken very seriously. This is body cam video police in Tallahassee, Alabama want you to see. They say it's a man being taken to the hospital, strung out on spice. He gets violent, even biting one of the EMTs trying to help him. It's really clear that one scene is in that ambulance that that paranoia really struck. Jennifer Hope, an Alpharetta counselor and addiction expert, watched the video and told me she wasn't surprised by his uncontrollable tirade. He really believed that these EMTs were out to get him. You know, the psychosis was so strong. Spice, or K2, are the street names for synthetic marijuana. An unregulated, potentially deadly combination of toxic chemicals usually produced in China. It's known to cause agitation, aggression, panic attacks, and paranoia. Dan Salter, Atlanta special agent in charge of the DEA, tells me yeah. its biggest victims yeah. are young people. And the kids want, unfortunately, they, they believe that they have to have this, this mind-altering chemical um, to enjoy an experience out on the town or in a party or wherever. In Georgia, spice use has dropped significantly thanks to tough new laws and is now hard to find. I hit up several local smoke shops with my cell phone rolling and came up empty-handed. They don't sell spice anymore? <laughs> but that doesn't mean spice is under control everywhere else. In Alabama and in other parts of the country, spice is being called a dangerous epidemic, which is why Special Agent Salter applauded us for showing the frightening video. Kids have to see it because it's real. I mean, they, they play these violent video games all day long. I mean, so to see something like that, a real person in, in a real situation that has been um, impacted by severely by, by one of these chemicals, it has a huge impact on folks. While spice cases are seemingly under control here in Georgia, the DEA told me that they're not sure how long that law will last. Special Agent Salter there says it all comes down to money. And as long as there's money to be made from marketing spice, controlling it will continue to be a challenge. He says that is the real choke point here. As long as that cash is flowing, mm -hmm. spice will continue to come in. And so there is the potential that it can be and continue to be a big problem in Georgia. Well, Special Agent Salter said don't be lulled into a false sense of security either. We are basically surrounded, like I said, in Alabama, North Carolina, even up in Connecticut, they're having problems with spice right now. And he said, as long as we're surrounded by the problem, we can very easily come right back into Georgia once again. Well, I'll tell you, the misery you showed us in that video, that should warn people against using spice. It looked awful. Extremely frightening. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, sure. Tom.